MPM products in Macclesfield pride themselves on selling the most expensive pet food. Full of natural ingredients, it's sold in markets around the world from this distribution centre. Since January, this company has taken on 20 new employees. The firm say this is as a direct result of exporting into new markets in Australia, America, the Far East and China. With a retail turnover in excess of £50 million, 60% of their product is exported. With the uh, requirement to, to produce and, and, and sell into other countries, what that's meant is that we've had to employ more people here in the UK to uh, be able to, to do that job of work. Less than a kilometre down the road from MPM is J-Tape. It produces specialist masking tapes for car body repair companies around the world. Just four years ago, it employed six people. Now that figure is 30. Again, it's exporting into markets including China, Japan and Russia that are central to that growth. I would say to any manufacturer, if you have a good product and you believe in your product, export. Macclesfield's MP has been visiting today. He says other small to medium-sized firms in the region should follow this example and be prepared to look to the new markets of China, India and the Far East. Where only 20%, one in five small, medium-sized businesses export. In Europe, that figure is more like a quarter, one in four. And we need to get up to that sort of performance to make sure we realise the real potential in the economy across the country and in the North West. In 2010, George Osborne said his plan would secure the recovery and he's choked it off for three years. The deficit's not come down in the way he said. We've got high unemployment. Living standards are falling month on month on month. George Osborne's got every test wrong. Between them, MPM Products and J-Tape have created more than 40 jobs in recent years. That's a significant number given the size of the companies. Government ministers are quick to tell us that if this was repeated elsewhere, Unemployment, not just here in the northwest, but across the country, could become a thing of the past. Ralph Blunsom, ITV News, Macclesfield.